Hey youth, I'm Annabeth. I want you to think about your favorite singer or band. My favorite singer is Taylor Swift because I love her music. Now, think about your favorite song by them. What is the main point or the main theme of that song? Maybe the song is about finding true love, or maybe the song is about getting over a breakup, or maybe the song is asking the DJ to turn up the volume. Here's my point, whether you know it or not, the songs you listen to influences you, and the Bible has a lot to say about the influences in our life. Influences can be very powerful. For example, if I tell you to not think about a monkey, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about a monkey. It wasn't that hard for me to influence you. And that's our next point. We are all easily influenced. There are a lot of people and things that influence us in our lives, whether it's friends, families, parents, or your teachers, or maybe Facebook, Twitter, or Snapchat. Well, these things can be either good or bad. For example, maybe you have a teacher that really inspires you to be a better person, but some of these influences can be bad influences in your life. This brings us back to Titus. We are easily influenced by the world around us. The truth is, we don't always realize how much our culture affects us. There are many things that have to do with our culture. The things we read, the things we watch, the things we listen to, it's just the general values that we live by. And the Christians in Titus were being negatively affected by their culture. Even one of their own men, a prophet from Crete, has said about them, the people of Crete are all liars, cruel animals, and lazy gluttons. Remember from last time that the book of Titus is written to Christians on the island of Crete. And you can tell by this verse that they had a toxic culture. The people didn't really care if they were generally rude to others or they were just generally lazy. Now think about our culture. Do the things you do and watch and say honor God? I don't think so. And that's a problem because bad influences can pull you away from God. We have to be careful because negative influences hurt our relationship with God. And this is what is happening in Titus. For there are many rebellious people who engage in useless talk and deceive others. There were all sorts of people in the church who were teaching things that were contrary to God. They were teaching that salvation didn't come through faith in Jesus. And they were teaching people that it was okay to disobey God. They were being bad influences. So if we have bad influences in our life, like the people in the book of Titus, what do we need to do? Identify bad influences. Here's how you do it. Ask yourself, is this person or movie or song helping you honor God and love others more? If not, they're probably being a bad influence and the Bible tells us what to do about bad influences. Eliminate bad influences. Here's how. You probably need to rethink some of the movies you're watching and songs you're listening to. You may even need to stop watching those movies and stop listening to those songs. This may sound a little extreme, but listen to what Jesus has to say. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Jesus doesn't literally want you to cut off your hand, but he wants you to take your influences seriously so you can better your relationship with God. So in your small group, talk about the influences in your life and make sure they're bringing you closer to God.